Once upon a time, in a tranquil village nestled between lush green mountains and flowing rivers, there lived a young man named Sujan. Sujan was known for his intelligence, but he had one flaw that overshadowed all his virtues. He was exceptionally lazy. His days were spent idly under the banyan tree, his gaze fixed on the clouds drifting lazily across the sky. The villagers, though fond of Sujan, couldn't help but worry about his lack of motivation. One day, as the sun dipped below the horizon, an old Buddhist monk named Prajna arrived in the village. His presence was like a gentle breeze, and his eyes radiated wisdom. Word spread quickly about the monk's arrival, and Sujan, hearing of his arrival, decided to seek his guidance. Underneath the shimmering moonlight, Sujan found himself at the entrance of Prajna's modest abode. Prajna welcomed Sujan with a warm smile, inviting him to sit on a simple straw mat. The room was adorned with candles, casting a soft glow on the ancient scriptures that lined the walls. Dear Sujan, Prajna began, I sense a great burden in your heart. Tell me what troubles your soul. Sujan hesitated but eventually poured out his heart to the monk, confessing his deep-rooted laziness that hindered his potential. Prajna listened patiently, his eyes reflecting understanding. Ah, the web of laziness is a complex one, my young friend. Prajna spoke with gentle compassion. But fear not, for there is a cure. To unravel this web, you must embark on a journey within yourself. Intrigued, Sujin leaned forward, eager to grasp the wisdom Prajna was about to share. Tomorrow, at the break of dawn, meet me by the ancient cherry blossom tree on the outskirts of the village. There, I will share a tale that holds the key to unlocking the chains of laziness that bind you. The night passed slowly for Sujan, his mind oscillating between anticipation and doubt. As the first rays of sunlight bathed the village, he found himself standing beneath the blooming cherry blossom tree where Prajna awaited him. Prajna began his tale, weaving a narrative that transported Sujan to a distant land where a young prince, much like himself, grappled with the same affliction. The prince's kingdom suffered, crops withered, and the once vibrant land turned barren. The prince sought the counsel of a wise sage who dwelled atop a mist-shrouded mountain, Prajna continued. To reach the sage, the prince had to climb the treacherous path, facing his fears and conquering his laziness. As Sujin listened intently, he could almost feel the prince's struggles mirrored in his own life. The story unfolded like a vivid painting, each word etching a picture in his mind. The sage, with his infinite wisdom, shared a simple yet profound truth with the prince. Prajna paused, emphasizing the gravity of the moment. The cure to laziness lies not in constant activity, but in mindful action. Sujan's eyes widened as the realization dawned upon him. The monk's words were like a gentle breeze that swept away the clouds of confusion, revealing a clear path. The prince learned that every action, no matter how small, could be infused with purpose and presence. Whether it was tending to the garden, helping a neighbor, or even contemplating the beauty of a single flower, he discovered that true fulfillment came from being fully engaged in the present moment. Sujan felt a spark within him, a newfound understanding of his own journey. Prajna continued, As the prince embraced mindful action, the kingdom flourished once more. Laziness, like a dissipating fog, lifted from his life and he became a beacon of inspiration for all. The story resonated deeply with Sujan, and he knew that his path to overcoming laziness was revealed through the ancient tale. Prajna looked at Sujan with a knowing smile. Remember, my dear friend, every moment holds the potential for mindful action. It is not about the grand gestures, but the intention behind even the smallest deed. From that day forward, Sujan embraced the wisdom of the Buddhist tale, he started with simple tasks, each performed with unwavering attention and intention. As he weeded the garden, helped neighbors, and marveled at the beauty of the world around him, Sujin felt a profound shift within. The village began to notice the transformation in Sujin. The once lazy youth became a source of inspiration, radiating a quiet energy that touched the hearts of those around him. The fields flourished, and a sense of purpose enveloped the village. Prajna, satisfied with the change he witnessed in Sujan, bid farewell to the village, leaving behind a legacy of wisdom. Sujan continued to grow, 
his journey of mindful action unfolding like the petals of a blossoming flower. And so, in this quaint village surrounded by mountains and rivers, a tale of the cure to laziness became a living testament to the transformative power of mindfulness. The banyan tree, once witness to Sujan's idle days, now stood as a symbol of growth, and the cherry blossom tree whispered tales of a prince who conquered his own laziness. As the villagers gathered under the moonlit sky, sharing stories of their own journeys, the enchanting tale of Sujin and the Buddhist wisdom lived on, inspiring generations to come. And in the gentle rhythm of mindful actions, the village thrived, a testament to the enduring power of a tale well told and the timeless wisdom that echoed through the ages.